Good morning, guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. <laughs> yeah, that was Filippo. Really cool. Computer, check. My bag, check. My outfit, which now you can only see half of, is this cashmere cable knit, which I personally love. Let me show you. We're heading for breakfast. Yeah. Are you ready, Filippo? Yeah. I'm also ready. I'm just gonna pack my laptop into the case, which I have here. Laptop case, because I have to do some work. And let's go. Actually, it's been two years that I'm looking forward to this porridge that I'm gonna have right now. It's quite cold, you guys. I could have even worn my coat. Sun is coming out. Well, it's kind of out here, but at the beach it looks really beautiful. I'll try to show to you if we can manage. Wow. I'm dying for coffee, but Filippo insists we bring you guys to the beach. So you can see that gorgeous sunrise. Filippo wants me to walk faster. Faster. He grabbed the laptop from my hand because he said I was walking too slow. <laughs> wow. It's actually insane. Wow, guys. Now I'm so happy we came to the beach. Now we're going to get sand in my shoes. So beautiful. It's cold, baby. Yeah, I would never want to put my feet into the sand. It's probably ice. I love it. It's cold. I, I, mean, I don't remember Miami in December ever being this cold. I mean, cold for their standards, not cold for European standards. The light is stunning. Look at this. <laughs> okay, let me update you on just a few things that you missed out. I woke up at 4.45, yes, for jet lag! But I'm very happy about that because I love this jet lag. Uh, here, it's windy, sorry. I actually had a call, 11 a.m. Central European time, so it was 5 a.m. here. So I was like, I'm not going to cancel it. I did a call at 5 a.m., 6 hours finished, and then Filippo was already up and awake. Last night we went to bed at like, I want to say 8.30. We tried to watch the new Lindsay Lohan movie. Honestly, guys, I love Lindsay Lohan. Like, it's just, she's the OG queen. So we tried to watch it, but I fell asleep, like literally within the first 15 minutes. And this morning I woke up very early. So that's what it is. And now we're going to have breakfast, the first breakfast of the day, because that's also another thing about the American jet lag. There are a few different uh, <laughs> breakfasts and zero dinners. But we're going to first breakfast at the Satai, where I, if I remember well, they have the best porridge in the world. I mean, they have a lot of best things ever. And I don't know, maybe I'm a little bit biased because literally this hotel belongs to our very close friends. So we love to go there. But still, it's really good porridge. And I've been looking forward to it ever since. Imagine they change the menu now, I'd be very disappointed. The walk is no joke, okay? Also, it's really interesting because Art Basel is in December. It's always in my Vlogmas. So I think Art Basel is like from 6th to the 9th of December or something like that. It's really interesting because it's also I can remember all the different Vlogmas that we were here. I remember two, three years ago, we were here for the Louis Vuitton show and it was the year that Virgil died, like literally a day or two before the show, which was, I remember Filippo literally on this beach exact, just sitting there, devastated. What's the name of the dog? Uh, the name of the dog is Faruk. When Faruk came to say hello, it was so cute. But honestly, I remember it was such a sad time and like, yeah, I have a lot of memories kind of 
tied to this place around this time of the year. I have a lot of friends who live in Miami or come often to Miami, so that's it. But in general, I wouldn't call myself like a big Miami fan. Maybe I just haven't really spent time here outside of Art Basel. Maybe I need to do that because all my friends love it. So I think I just haven't really experienced it properly. That's all it is. So right now we are going for breakfast. <laughs> Actually, this is always our table. Yeah. Are you guys gonna open these or not? No? Ah. Let's go and get some food. So beautiful and serene and quiet this morning. No one's here. I love it, actually. This is the place to be, you guys. Do you remember once we were sitting there with Show Andrea? Yeah, yeah. Like it was a bunch of you guys. I was actually here for AP as well. And I remember I arrived. You guys were having the best of times. Mm. Let's go get food. This is now Bircher Musli, okay. Granola, chia, strawberry yogurt, Greek yogurt, okay. Some fruits. But where is the porridge? Hmm, it's a bit concerning. Good morning. Ausmail, it's here. This is what I came for. But then, guys, everything looks so good that I don't know what to do. I don't know why I'm craving this, even before the oatmeal. Oh my God, look at the French toast and the pancakes and the waffles. Ah, oh, I crave everything. Huh? I want everything. I know, it's crazy to be honest. Oh, baby, look at this avocado. Mm. And then the fruits over here that also look delicious. So good. So good. Wow, I don't know where to start. Start from the porridge. Eggs, vegetable, salad, fruit, porridge. Do you think I was hungry this morning? Philip was criticizing me a little bit, but I don't understand why when he knows very well that it's basically more than midday in Europe and we didn't have any dinner. And yesterday on the plane, I basically ate nothing. A few little sandwiches, because I was sleeping through the meal service. Mm, the eggs are so good. So right now, I'm ready. Also this papaya. So good, porridge. I need to try to see if it's as good as I remember it be, or it's just in my head. I was also hungry. They cook it with like, Anise flowers and vanilla, like big chunks of it, so that it like, gets flavored. It's so good, it's insane. I'm gonna eat now before I create a mess because I'm really hungry. And I need to get down to work as well. Guys, I, Filippo really wants me to get out in the sun, but he forgot that I had a laser recently done. So I'm not doing that. Yeah. Everybody's like convincing me to prolong how long I'm staying in Miami and I don't want to prolong how long I'm staying here for several reasons. A, I cannot be, well, I could put like a hat and glasses and SPF 50, which I do anyway. But I also, I just want to go back, even for like just vlogmas purposes, for like what you guys want to see, I feel like, in December time, everybody wants to see more of like a cozy time. It's not like hot Miami beach or South beach or whatever, you know? Anyway, so much mess here. I need to do my makeup. We're going for the AP event. So I just want to wash my face first really well. And then go in again with everything. Mm. So I just got reminded that someone left a comment saying how much you're enjoying that the vlogmas is so real and I'm showing my real life and how everything is. And I personally thought that was the point of vlogmas, right? Showing you everything, yes, as it really is. And then someone asked me, can you please share 
if you have with Filippo like very dramatic arguments like if Filippo and you ever argue like really like you know passionately right and I'm gonna answer the question here's the thing I can be a very impulsive and passionate person because I put up with a lot of stuff so here's how i operate also not just in relationships with anything with my parents with my friends i'm so patient like you can insult me offend me mistreat me treat me really bad for quite a bit of time but i put it inside and i don't want to like you know i put up with people and when they're impatient when they're angry when they're emotional i'm like it's okay i always find excuses for other people it's okay they're stressed it's okay they're this they're that and then one day I just explode. It's not really great. I always say this story. I said the same to my therapist. I had like, let's say a friend and I was putting up with a lot of stuff, right? Is like it? a lot of, lot of, lot of stuff. I would never say anything about it, right? Like she was mistreating me pretty badly. And then eventually I just exploded and I was like, now it's over. You know what I mean? So I can be like that. And in the first year of our relationship, who deep on me, I was a little bit more the one that is explosive, I think. But honestly, until we got to know each other. Because I also think that now, Filippo really learned to uh, respect my boundaries. He really learned what I like, what I don't like. He understands me as a person. So we don't really, to be very honest with you guys, have explosive or non-explosive arguments but not to say that we did used to argue in the first year of our relationship because we were still getting to know each other and understand like push each other's boundaries understand kind of who is like what and i think for filippo as well it was a big cultural shock to see what a true balkan woman is like i think at least once he understood i think filippo is such a respectful man such a kind man honestly like he gets it when i'm stressed he gets it he lets it be so really there's nothing i could really even get mad about i don't know but i want to be very real with you guys i want you guys to know i personally have been in such different relationships right that now i finally know what a true healthy good relationship is about and the last thing we argued about it wasn't really an argument but i was like so mad i was changing in my wardrobe room and i basically took off my top so i was nude and filippo jumped on a video call with his accountant it's a lady but anyway it doesn't help the situation and he was like hey tamara wants to say hi and he turned his phone and i was basically without a top and i like screamed and i was like how could you like not like pay attention to what i'm doing but it wasn't really a fight he like immediately was like oh my god i'm so sorry i'm so sorry like sorry and i'm the same like if filippo gets mad at me i immediately apologize because he doesn't get mad for no reason and i know the guy i trust the guy i have so much confidence in him to know that this guy honestly never gets mad for no reason so if he gets mad I know that I've overstepped my boundary and you know what it is in human nature to make mistakes we're not computers we're humans we make mistakes we overstep boundaries sometimes sometimes intentionally oh no I forgot something sometimes intentionally sometimes unintentionally but overall I think what matters is that I know for a fact that Filippo would never do something to purposefully make me feel bad or look bad he would never do something to hurt me on purpose so that really helps whatever happens he knows that i would never do something to harm him right phil Maybe of course. because someone asked me what was the last thing we argued about and i said no, i genuinely we only argue when you are a little bit uh, uh, overwhelmed and you become uh, very very sensitive but this it's is not an argue you just such a man uh, thing to say no but it's true it's true it's true I said that the last time because that I got very are... upset with you was maybe when you put a video call on with your accountant and I was basically topless and you were like, tomorrow wants to say hi. Oh, yeah. I almost cried actually because I felt well, so... You didn't almost, you didn't cry. <laughs> maybe in a good time, your boyfriend yeah. made the room. Okay. Guys, when you check out a room, do mm -hmm. you also do like me that I make uh, the bed tidy. clean? We always leave the room tidy. No, maybe I... I also leave the room tidy. Baby. I also leave it tidy. It's true, but I mean, not I never the, leave it not like a, chaos. Not at the Virgo level. But you leave it at like at a state that they don't need to do the not housekeeping the before the next person checks in. I am 
I'm gonna do my makeup now. Filippo's been on to his projects, doing so many different things. He's very happy with work, so he's doing his stuff here and I'm here for AP, as you guys know. Even though Filippo also is like working with some of the same clients that I do, we still have like very different points of work and we work differently. Anyway, I'm not gonna bore you with that. Doing my makeup, I need to be downstairs in 25 minutes now. We are going for a lunch with AP and I'm gonna see many of the girls that I know. It's basically women only. One thing that I absolutely love about Audemars Piguet, which is my brand of choice when it comes to watches, I think the only watch brand that are so focused on women, you know? Whereas the watch world is a little bit of a man's world. I mean, no, correction, the world is a man's world. With AP, they really are trying to put women at the focus and today's lunch is all about women. Wanted to go to the fair, but there was no time. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear, but what I did really well, I think at least, I realize where did I put that stuff? I have a, are you at home? No, I, I switch around. Oh. Okay, I'll call mom. I think I forgot all of my clothes for Miami. I was like, I packed it separately in like a cube, like a packing cube. So I don't open it in like everywhere we were. And I think I like emptied it out of the luggage, but I didn't put it back. This is, this is amazing content. <laughs> I hope you're filming it. This is hilarious. I'm so glad you all are having like fun. Philip was like great. Philip was like great. I need to leave in 20 minutes and I have nothing to wear besides like knitwear and coats. That's excellent. You go in knitwear. Everyone's gonna stare at you. <laughs> okay, gotta go okay. to solve my problems right now. Oh, okay, good. I wanna call my mom to see. My God, how did this happen to me? Do you wanna check first the luggage? You know, I packed like really cute stuff and now I have like one pair of jeans and a t-shirt. Which is okay to go. Okay, do you have a blazer? No. To go today for this lunch? I don't have a blazer. I would never in my life be the problematic one, you know? Don't have much time to waste on the fact that I haven't really brought anything. But this just shows you how I am. Things happen and we have to move on. And I don't have any clothes for Miami, but I'll find a solution. I'll just wear like a pair of jeans, moccasins. I also can't find the blush, my road favorite blush. So I had to open a new one, which luckily my sister gave me a new one when we were in Brighton because she was like, hey, I think you like this. It got delivered for you in the press package. So luckily, because I can't find and I don't have time to waste anymore, unfortunately. But it's all good. I'm not gonna dwell over it. But it shows you the reality of how I am. I am sometimes a little bit scattered. Doesn't happen often that I forget things, but my fear is that when I arrive somewhere, I realize that I forgot my makeup bag. Even though like makeup you can buy, you can't really buy a full wardrobe. I can't even remember what I packed, but I remember I packed some really cute bits and bobs. I don't have them now, like some cute dresses and things that I wanted to wear in Miami. Not on this occasion. My mom managed to find it. It's basically in Brighton, upstairs, my wardrobe. So I discovered recently really good few products. I'm not these products, but new shades, I would say, but I'm looking for the key one. This Armani Beauty, this is the eye tint, shade 22. I'm wearing it on my eyelids right now, but I also like the sparkly one in shade 68S and also I love these luminous silk aqua highlighters that I actually wore in Venice Film Festival I'm wearing a bit of it on my cheeks not gonna do much more makeup I'm gonna wash the tint of my mouth now apply a little little bit of eyeliner and the one that I love is this Wonder Skin one in Kalamata sort of a like grayish brownish color and this color luckily I have a dress from Saint Laurent the one that I got in the Bistro Village or even the midi skirt that I got. So that's kind of cute for tonight's speech. Tonight's speech is gonna to be held by, I think, 
one of the Williams sisters, not sure which one I need to check, and Simone Biles. So let's get going. Managed to pull something out. I'm wearing this Urban Revival top that you guys probably have seen during my Black Friday acquisitions. If I still have a working coat on Urban Revival, I will put it on the screen so you guys can maybe benefit from sale if it's still on and then my burgundy loafers and my burgundy kelly so i mean the look is cute i had better packed so that's what's annoying me but i think it's quite a cute look anyway let me know what you guys think did my makeup and i'm ready to go oh wow look at this house and this with this little pond of some sort and huge koi fish Wow. home <laughs> for not so long just to change my outfit and stuff and i couldn't really vlog much from the house where we were at because we were working on a big uh, thing and we had to sign on disclosure agreements but it was something that we started working on last october actually and it's really really cool new thing that ap is starting and i'm very proud because i will be one of like the founding members of like this kind of board i cannot say much but filippo is having a really good time because They've given us a little booklet of the founding members, right? And they're all illustrated really beautifully. So like, as you can see, everybody's friendly and smiling and beautiful. And Filippo is having so much fun you see because everybody, no, look. everybody looks nice. so friendly. No, and no, then... wait, 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 let's go back, let's go back. So everybody like looks apparently according to Filippo like very friendly and very, very nice. Very sweet, you see, smiley. I love Julia, you know, very nice. Look, very nice and sweet and super smiley. Look at that, smiley, sweet, Go smiley, show, show it, Filippo. Sweet, smiley, smiley, and then they arrive to, you see, sweet, smiley, very sweet, serene, I think they got the smiley, point. and then Tamara. Boom. And he says I look like a bitch, <laughs> basically. Yeah. In the end, I'm the one most like inclusive. And Filippo is mocking me because, and I'm so annoyed about it because let me tell you one thing. And anybody that has ever, ever met me can comment on this. If I see a person, no, no, just to say, if I see a person standing, I mean, I'm standing with my friends, I'm gonna be like, hey, do uh, you know my friends? I always introduce people. I never no, want no, baby, anybody baby, standing can alone. I, can I tell you, if someone doesn't know you, you are that face. You know, because you're confident and strong. That's why. Baby, we need to go, my love. Let's go. Ciao, guys. See you later. I know why I appear like that because I know that I'm very giving and friendly and I like to put a boundary so that not everybody takes... Maybe you don't have to change a thing. Alrighty, whatever. I need to see what I'm gonna wear. Tonight is like cocktail chic. We're going for Simone Biles and Serena Williams will be doing an inspiring speech tonight. I'm very excited about that, but we have to leave 5 p.m. sharp. No, me, now we need to leave. Now. Yeah, so I gotta go, guys. Filippo picked an outfit for me tonight and he picked this top for me. I love it. I should ask Stefan to pick an outfit for me in vlog. I, I'm gonna see him soon, so I'm gonna try and ask him to pick an outfit for me. Okay, I'll get dressed quickly. You got me in the mood. It feels like I'm a... But I would love to know what we don't know about you on LinkedIn. Oh, that's a very nice question. So what you don't find on LinkedIn is my very first job, which I started at uh, 16 years old. I, I set up a company to organize uh, kids' parties. Uh, so that's, that's what I've done. Like I said, I love to win. And so um, with my fund, we raised money. So my main goal is not only return our fund, but, you know, Xing that, I don't know, question mark X, I haven't 
decided what we want to return. But those are always goals that I think about when I look at different uh, companies that come to us every day. I'm excited to see what's out there for me and what I'm good at as well, because I feel like um, I used to always think since I've done gymnastics for so long, that's the only thing I'll be good at. But I think the world is my oyster, so I'm excited to go out there and attack it. Guys, we are at the after party. I don't know what you can hear or see, but it's pretty cool. Very busy, as you can see, and loud. I'm not sure how much I can vlog. Our friends are here. We watched Simone Biles and Serena Williams give incredible speeches. It was so inspiring for someone like me who loves that kind of like self-improvement and all the like fabulous, inspiring conversations. I really loved it. I don't know if you can see how tired are my eyes, but I cannot keep them open. What's the time? 9.10. So it's basically 3 a.m. in Europe, and I got up at 4.30-ish. But Filippo wants to drag me out to dinner. How does that make you feel, Filippo? No, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, 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 we're going, we're going, yeah, 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 come, come. As you can hear, we're going to dinner. No, no, we're going, so, we're going to Setai now. We, uh, so excited. We're going, we're going the only thing is that I'm excited to see Shoal and Bird Baby, and uh, obviously Morgan's joining us, it's gonna be nice because we're friends, but I, I think I have one hour in me maximum and that's my absolute capacity at this time and day. Yay. Guys, I think it's time to finish this vlog. I'm so jet lagged that I'm like delusional. I cannot speak or stand. I almost like was sleeping on my feet basically. It was a beautiful day, really, really wonderful. Despite the fact that I didn't bring anything <laughs> correct for Miami, despite the fact that I kind of understood that my packing was a fail, I think that we managed. I don't know if you actually saw my outfit of the night in the end. Sorry for the mess around, but it was this new Saint Laurent skirt and the top and Filippo's belt and Filippo's leather jacket. Thank God for Filippo. It was also a beautiful day because I got to spend it with him. And right now I'm gonna jump in the shower and jump in the bed because it's 11 p.m. Good night, guys. I see you tomorrow. Same place, same time, 8 p.m. Central European time. And subscribe if you haven't. It's free. So do it, please. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.